A bed separates you from the loving earth at night. That's what's so great about learning these things. When you know you're oppressed by the cultural pressures of making money or showering or wiping yourself after using a toilet, you can focus on the important things. Do you travel in? Well, I've been up north to the theme park, and last week I went to the beach. No, really travel. My coven has been meeting every Thursday Saturday to prepare for a grand coracle journey along the same route we took when our people came from Russia and Alaska along the Bering Strait. What's a coracle? Oh, is that like a maibatsu? Mm-hmm. I prefer American cars. No. <laughs> coracle. Cora means Arabian gazelle, which we all know was the daughter of Zeus, and call means gather grass and sew it together. A coracle is a single person round boat made of reeds and twigs from ancient Britain. There are so many wonderful things you can learn from the ancient Britons, Amy. Like metallurgy and how to cauterize the wound when a bear has eaten it on. Everyone used to have a coracle, Amy, even people who were scared of water. We're all about working to preserve the diversity of natural life. We use everything. Question. Who's this we? My coven. Like witches? No, yeah, yeah, uh, yes. But not witches like you think. We're just a group of people who believe in communal sharing and chanting a lot and can't find husbands. Reading magazines, cloaks, wands, horned gods. Looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy. Please do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. without saying Tommy Tommy any progress no 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 no. tell me later tell me later Tommy this is Avery Carrington I believe you met at the party not in person howdy Avery here has a proposition haven't we got other things on our mind I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door so could you please cut me some slack I'm stretched like a wire and even if I'm dead by the end of the week I'd like to think that I didn't die poor now just calm down both of you Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay. What could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should. Stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks.
Park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend with a weight before. <laughs> Is this guy? Boys, deal with him. Get him! Show that please. psycho! Me, me, me! Hello!
making love and having hot, very passionate encounters with the secretaries. By the way, she sleeps at home. I know. I have been there many times. Your unemotional, the where the heart remains true. Mr. Versetti! Colonel! Thank you for coming. Please sit. Lobster? No, thanks. Uh, I am ashamed to admit that one of the causes of our mutual problem appears to have been the loose tongue of a man I used to trust. I've been carrying Gonzalez for years, but now his incompetence reaches new heights. It is only right that you kill Gonzalez. Did he do it? It's the money that's important to me. For well, this kindness, I'll reward you. And then. We will find your money together. He will be at his penthouse, half drunk probably. Use this. 